Hello, Khalees Times audiences and viewers. This is Mahosh Ejaz. Dubai is a beautiful place where so many people bring their art and share their beautiful artistry with us. As always, Khalees Times brings to you these wonderful artists and their interviews. I'm joined in our studios by Hadika Kiani. Hadika, first of all, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam. How are you? I'm good. Uh, Hadika Kiani is in the studios with us and she needs no introduction. She's a veteran artist. Now she's stepped into acting. Mm -hmm. So that's another introduction, another feather in her cap. Uh, she's been with us, her art has been with us for a very long time. She's been celebrated across the world. And you're now in Dubai, bringing your beautiful music to Dubai and UAE residents. I want to start with that, Hadika. Welcome to KT. Thank you very much. And I want to start with what has been the experience like you performed at the Expo 2020. Yes. And tell us about the experience first of all. Tell us about your love for the people in the UAE and the and the and the love that they have shown you. I think it was just incredible. Yeah. Yesterday I went to Pakistani Pavilion. Mm -hmm. uh, they gave me a tour, mm. and it was so overwhelming for me. Everything was just done so perfectly. I felt it was like a proud moment for me uh, to be a part of um, Expo um, Dubai 2020, and I was performing at um, DIC Arena mm -hmm. uh, with Shafqat Amanat Ali Khan and uh, the show went really well, got a great applause, audience was amazing and I think I felt like um, really good mm -hmm. and it was a great honor for me to be a part of that whole event and I think the way they've uh, put the Pakistani pavilion it was such a great move by the government and the people who are involved in the whole process of uh, you know making it happen and it was done really well and yeah I felt really really good yeah and I think these kind of things will bring more um, softer image of our country and the true image hmm. of Pakistani culture and heritage and um, the richness of our place yeah yeah true. To, the, to the world and the true colors of Pakistan Hadika as an artist that's another going to this topic now as an artist do you feel uh, what is the difference that you feel is between the softer image and the real image because we want, we don't want to show the world which is not the truth. But what is the truth about Pakistan? And as you rightly mentioned, there's tolerance and diversity. As an artist, how do you feel that uh, artists can take the message forward and can represent Pakistan? I think art um, is is a form of expression, and it, it's it works like a vessel uh, for emotions, for for just flowing of emotions you know they can just uh, express through through their art yes um, and artists musicians poets uh, they express their emotions and the reality and the truth through their art so I think it's it's a great medium for us to represent our part of the world to the rest of the world that we are a nation of peace and whatever um, you see in the news or just read in the papers it's not exactly the same situation hmm. uh, we are all about peace when uh, you took a leap towards acting that is also a way to express for an artist but not a not a lot of singers do that but you chose to do it at a very different stage in your life when you were established singer and you've sung so many wonderful OSTs for Pakistani dramas. What were the kind of offers that you you got before and why did you choose to begin with Rakeep Say and now another wonderful script that you're doing, Dobara. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your journey as an actress. I think um, uh, there's time for everything. Um, there's a process mm. and I believe in the timing and the timing of the universe. Mm. Um, even if it knocks the door uh, when you're not ready or when you're ready, it then you respond. So uh, my door was knocked previously. A lot of times for the movies and for the uh, telefilms and for the dramas, but nothing, uh, there was no push from inside. Mm. I, I was not ready for that. So probably when I was ready internally, then universe just made it happen for mm. me. So I believe in the manifestations and mm. manifestations only happen when there is clarity of vision mm. or clarity of thought. Mm. So as we say, thoughts become reality. So I probably, I was just creating that in my head mm. that maybe I'm ready for that. So when I got this um, uh, call from Umna Duret for the, uh, for uh, Rakeep Rakeep say, it was, um, you know, just for a split of seconds, I was I was really um, I was not confused, hmm. but I was just skeptical about myself that you know whether I'll be able to do it or not. And I love challenges. Hmm. 
and it was certainly a challenging role for me hmm. uh, to be performing uh, you know with with great artists like Noma Anijas and Sanya Said and you know on the same platform Ikra and everybody else like that so it was it was a great challenge so i worked on that hmm. i worked on the lines i worked on the script i just uh, you know the whole uh, persona uh, from hadika to uh, uh, becoming sakina yeah. it was like a process yeah. which i started completely dressed down it's a deglamorized role completely yeah i started practicing at home hmm. you know wearing the simple shalwar kameez hmm. and the, you know the body language the accent punjabi accent and that so i practiced for a month mm. and it was it was a wonderful process yeah how much of how much pra- of practice did you do because dobara is not as yeah be glamorized I mean, no. yeah as rakeep say Do- dobara was a different kind of challenge but uh, uh, i think rakeep say was a completely i had to change my my total personality for that mm. so i never wanted hadika to be you know to be shown in sakina hmm. so are you closer to sakina or are you closer to meru in emotions i think i'm closer to both of them okay. because i uh, i think that any role that i'm going to play i'm going to become that person hmm. So be- at least for a while. For a while, yeah. yes. Becoming that person for a while, and then you know, obviously that that happens when you're uh, empathetic by nature. Mm. So you start observing people like that. Mm. Um, if you're a beautician, you know you're gonna start observing people how they they do their makeup, and if you're a hairstylist, you know you do start doing that. So acting is a completely different thing now. So mm. I've started uh, noticing and observing. Is there people. any one particular actor that you notice the most? whether it's on screen or in person i think now i'm i'm just uh, focusing more hmm. um and th- there is so much diversity around yeah. and there's yeah. so many amazing artists yeah. around that you can't just focus on one per- person True. even as a musician i never focused on one sort of genre, genre yeah. or a specific singer hmm. so i always believed in you know different dynamics and diversity of different colors and all that mm. yeah. in music and acting world. creating music in a digital world today yeah. it has its different kind of challenges there's obviously plagiarism has always been there but uh, inspiration or uh, letting your music out into the world where there's so many now different ways people are remixing it into reels and yeah. tiktok and yeah. adele famously said that uh, who's going to create music for my generation everybody's right. making music for tiktok mm-hmm. your music has always been your own you've never really followed the trend yeah. but you've somehow always come out on top in that mm-hmm. way what's your uh, sort of mantra or philosophy for creating music in 2021 or 2022 that and especially in the pandemic years that have gone by the the latest album the current album that i've come up with is called vasi hmm. this means union yes and i gave this name because uh, it was like a reunion with my own self hmm. and uh, creating music the way i want to not because of the current trends what whatever the youth want or or other people want to listen to i wanted to listen to my own music mm. and it's kind of like an easy listening music um soft ballads love songs uh and i composed them my mm. mother wrote it mm. except for one song which i did with amir zakis mm. one of the uh, music le- legends yes, that absolutely. we all know yeah he's yeah. a great music he was a great musician mm. and he was a really really good friends oh. with me and we worked on a project called rough cut also mm. at one time so this song was really close to my heart so i just put that in vasil i think it was something that i wanted to um uh, relate with my own deeper self mm. that's why i just came out out with this mm. not not uh, from any commercial perspective mm. you can say there was a non commercial type of thing because mm. when i was making music i i never ever think of the commercial aspect mm. yeah so i'll be coming up with lot of songs uh, that are in the pipeline mm. um and they'll be just uh, depicting my my own reflection yeah your my yeah. own journey and my own moods and my it's going to be my own reflection the response you do how much of social media do you check do you look at the comments you get how do you feel about that because now it's become it's become so big mm. and a lot of the success of different actors or musicians mm. is dependent on the um the feedback they get on yeah. social media channels yeah. how do you take that i think if i say that i don't read the comments at all <laughs> it would be a lie but i do read the comments sometimes yeah. but yeah. but then i 
do have control over my brain <laughs> to have a filter there mm. that if uh, you know there are bad comments okay then there are good comments too yeah. so there are more more good comments than the bad ones right fortunately mm. so i focus on the good comments when you look at uh, mehru in dobara mm-hmm. she's also breaking so many molds not yeah. just in the story itself but for yeah. the screen itself yeah. is it is your next project also going to be something that we want to break the mold with or would you my third project is about to end like mm. in a few days um, and it's gonna be coming in march okay uh, by the name of uh, pinjra okay uh, they are still um, thinking about the name probably but it it is pinjra and mm. asma uh, wrote it the one who uh, died asma nabi yeah Jay. asma nabi yeah um, and i spoke to her and it is about the social cause okay and the major reason for me was to um do have some kind of contribution okay uh, for the society okay uh, and it is about the parents hmm. it is about the children hmm. uh and basically it's about the right parenting hmm. because uh, there are flaws in the parenting the, the drama that we are doing it has uh, a, a great message for for the parents hmm. it is about those children that usually the parents uh, start making differences between the, this this kid is better than this one and mm. this kid is not mm. better than this one okay mm. this is an artist this is the kid who takes really good marks and this is the one oh, who's just like a loser type mm. so so it, this whole drama is based on the social cause and mm. i think it's going to be a great contribution again mm. um, from the writer mm. to the whole team mm. and this was my major aim to to be doing this drama hmm. because i don't want to take uh, any role hmm. ever hmm. and this is what my at least aim is hmm. to um, have some contribution in the drama industry in my own little ways hmm. to be picking up those roles hmm. that has something to offer yeah that has some meaning and some some substance to it Right. Yeah. Is there any artist in the world and I'm just saying not Pakistan I'm sure you've collaborated with pretty much everyone in Pakistan. Mm-hmm. Is there any artist particularly in the world that you'd want to collaborate with that you want to work with is something aspirational about that artist to you? Uh I think that there are a lot of artists that I wanted to um collaborate with one was by who's not alive NFK mm-hmm. Mr. Fatli Khan sahab yeah I really mm-hmm. wanted to collaborate with him but I never got a chance um AR Rahman I always say that you know I really really love his uh productions music so would love to do that someday in Dubai is a great pl- yeah. platform for that yeah for sure <laughs> yeah let's mm-hmm. see Let's yeah, see, yeah. Um, inshallah why not yeah, of course yeah. um harika just summing up uh in the future when you look at the content that we are producing mm-hmm. whether it's films whether it's television mm-hmm. what would you think is the best way to take it forward i think i haven't i haven't thought about it i haven't decided anything about it i'm just going going with the uh flow mm-hmm. you can say mm-hmm. whatever is coming up i can i can just see it and i listen to my deeper self or your gut my gut feeling mm-hmm. that if it tells me that this is something that clicks my brain or my heart then i just go for it mm-hmm. if i don't then i don't mm-hmm. so anything that comes up which is uh, like a solid role or some role that that offers me to portray some substantial um uh, character then i would love to do that whether it's a big screen or a small screen what's the message you'd like to give to your dubai audience uh, your ua audiences and those who've seen you perform live are there any other live events that you're planning for ua i'm going to be looking forward for a um, lot of collaborations mm-hmm. with international artists inshallah for and, sure and why not i would love to uh, be a part of the world festivals mm. and represent pakistan mm. uh, for its sufi music folk music pop music message yeah for um, you know audiences and khalish times audiences I would just but. say life is short and so just get the most out of it and be fearless and uh, if you if your heart tells you to do something then just go for it don't define your life uh, by other people's judgments just uh, do it yourself and do it with a clear heart that's lovely do it with a clear heart that's that's yeah. so simple she's made life and everything in it so simple thank you so much for your time guys stay tuned uh, to khalish times don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our social media platforms and for more news and information check out khalishtimes.com